Hi guys and welcome to episode 10 of 100% walkthrough Dark Souls 2. Um, today we'll be getting all the items and all the secrets in No Man's Wharf, which is the path we've decided to take. So like I said last video, we actually took all the possible paths from Medjula and did the first part of it. And on this episode we'll be starting to do a specific path and completing that path. So I decided to do this one because probably because it's one of the easiest ones to do. And we're going to get the Pyromancer Flame, so that's quite on... I'm um, quite good early game. Obviously, if you've been watching all the videos and you prefer a different path or whatever, just take that path. I mean, you don't have to do this path at the moment. There's, load, there's all the other paths you can complete first before coming here. But anyway, this one's quite short. And like I said before, the only really good item here is going to be the Pyromancer Hand. Though there is going to be a few cool items here and two or three hidden items um, behind trap, trap walls. But anyway, at the start of the level, we're going to come here to the left and come into this building here and go upstairs after killing the two or three guys at the bottom. In this um, chest it's going to be a Titanite shard but we can actually come out from behind us and go into the balcony type area. Watch out for this enemy, you can knock him down or kill him. Though if you knock him down he's not going to die and you're going to have to kill him when you jump down afterwards and pick up the solo proud knight. Um, one more thing that NPC that we've seen at the start, she'll actually help you on the boss battle afterwards if you want to do a quest. So she'll help you. I think to do a quest you've got to um, at least beat two bosses with her without dying. So we'll be doing that when we get to the boss battle. But anyway, um, once we've cleared that build noble we just want to finish off all the enemies here in the docks. Be careful, they're actually more powerful than you expect even though it shouldn't be too hard to kill. they are normally done about two or three hits. Um, pick up this from the water here, it's just sold. And come into this little hot building over here, kill the two guys. I think one jumps down behind you. Pick that up, nothing really important. That's one fast forward in, but just, just to get it over and done with. Obviously, I'm not going to do this on the important things. But anyway, we're going to come over to the right here. Watch out for these guys. These guys are actually scattered um, the light, so if you've got a torch or whatever, these guys won't come near you and they'll kind of back off. That's why they're in the houses. Uh, we're going to get 10 iron arrows from here. That's pretty much all we've got to do on this level, the, sorry, this area of the level. And now we're going to proceed to go up the stairs and go to the second floor. So once we're up the stairs, we go left or right. Um, first, we're just going to go to the right here, and we're going to see a dog and another guy. And watch out for the arch what's above us. I can't believe I actually survived this. Like this arrow just literally misses me, and I get enough time to cure. <laughs> Bad mistake there from my part, but still, lucky enough I survived. But anyway, after killing these guys, we're going to come into this building over here. Um, don't do what I do here, I was just exploring a bit, trying to break everything I found and go into every fucking corner, but anyway. Um, we're going to come into this building, there's going to be at least two or three enemies in here, watch out for them, two of them won't attack you unless you attack them, we've got too close. And behind the bar kind of area here, there's going to be a metal chest, a bo treasure box, treasure box, with the Brigade um, armor set and the axe. But anyway, now we're going to come upstairs, which is just over here to our left, and see what's up here. So I think somebody, no, yeah, somebody will um, ambush you here from the bottom. I'm not quite sure where he comes from, just watch out for him. And there's going to be another treasure up here. So outside, we haven't really got much. Um, we'll just see here, a repair pad and tie knight shard. Outside there's going to be, I think, two enemies. One's got an our, our bow and arrow to our right here. Yeah. So he'll get his sword out if we get too close. But there's no really point of coming out around here. We'll come around here afterwards. There is going to be um, an item here. But this gate we see in front of us here is actually a shortcut further on, which we're going to open from the other side. But we'll get to that in just a second. So anyway, now we're going to come all the way back down to the bottom of the, the building we just came in. And we're going to come back out. Here, if you want, you can go to the left before getting back to the stairs and activating this Ferris Lockstone contraption. And what it's actually going to do is bring a massive light from the the roof. So all those guys I mentioned before are scared of the light. Are just going to back off into the building so you won't really see them unless you go into the buildings. And carry and jump down and get these items here, which is just a soul or whatever. But anyway, back up the stairs. Now we're going to take the left. This building just here with the hole is the one from the bottom, you can jump down there if there's any interest, but not really, there's no items that we've missed. But this building here, there's not actually going to be anything in it, but it's just going to be an alternative way of making it up the stairs and there's going to be an enemy in here. And when you walk out, there's going to be at least two or three more enemies, so watch out for these guys and the guy to the left in this doorway, which tries to ambush you. But anyway, just going to take out all the enemies, it's exactly the same as if you came up the stairs to my right here. 
as you can see it's just there's no difference of coming through that building or coming up the stairs but anyway this takes us to the third floor of the level so this building with the dog in it this just gonna be, I'm not sure if this is one item or no items in here it's kind of weird there's some buildings now there's no items in here there's, I don't think it's actually no items on this floor like if we go to the building to the left over here that item over there's just been dropped by an enemy so don't worry about that over here there's gonna be another dead end weirdly I don't know I think maybe it's because um, that's where the enemies spawn or something but anyway we're gonna now proceed to go to the the fourth floor third fourth floor yeah whatever you know the next floor whatever after I stop fucking about looking down there but anyway we're gonna come over here all the way to the right and come up these next load of stairs so there will actually be um, these guys what are ahead of me they'll actually be out here but because I've lit the massive torch with the Faris's lockstone they're actually gonna be in that building over there these guys are extremely dangerous at low levels because if, if you want all the treasures we're actually gonna go in there and be fucking about with um, magic but anyway we're gonna actually take, try and take these out the best we can if you're gonna do this with a melee weapon it's going to be a lot harder because they lit their their second attack of their combo is literally going to reach for miles and they're going to make you bleed and take a lot of your health away. Their first attack isn't too bad, but the second and third one's basically going to kill you if they get along. And you can't really see it coming, and they really do have amazing reach on them. And you can't tell if it's going to hit you or not until you actually hit. But anyway, this door here. I, I believe if you knock on the door with your weapon, they'll actually break through. Like you'll see, they're going they break the wall there watch out for these guys they really have um, a lot of damage output like I said before but once we took those out we're going to come through where the door was and come upstairs there's going to be one more guy here hiding in the corner so watch out for him these guys really can um, kill you even if there's only one of them but anyway I won't mention that anymore be but just make sure that you are very careful with these this door over here if you run through it and ignore them they can actually smash the wall down behind you around the door like kind of like the same as down the bottom so I recommend killing them, they will follow you in. Um, this guy you can sell stuff to, this guy will actually as well be in um, Harvest Valley where I mentioned near a treasure chest if you talk to him first here. But in the treasure chest is going to be a great sword for any strength build, it's okay, not bad. Watch out for this one, it's going to either have poison or arrows in it, so just be aware of that. And we're going to get a silver t um, two silver talismans in it. That's pretty much all we've got to do in this building, so now we're just going to hop out and carry on the next way. There's nothing more in it. So once we're outside the building, we're going to come over here to the cliff side and pick up the the large force and sorry the large soul and a mid force, which is the miracle. Um, in this little bit over here, there ain't nothing, and we're going to continue up these stairs in these buildings. Don't worry, there's no items around here. Let's kill this enemy up here, and I think there's going to be another enemy up the top just right above us. <clears throat> we're going to kill him as well, and watch out for this guy. I nearly died here. Uh, whatever um, the next thing we're going to do is actually pull the lever and ring the bell so the boat gets here which you can see in the distance in this level the bell is right here so I'm just going to pull that and this will allow us to gain access to the boss but anyway now we're going to continue jump off here and get where this item is it's going to be a life gen and hold more bone um, continue jumping down these ledges. Oh, don't jump down the second one if you want to go in this building. Which, well, I guess you can. I don't think it's much of a difference. Like, it's an item here, 10 fire arrows. These guys, as you can see, my cells are like died by these guys. I completely forgot about these guys. And like I said before, there's amazing um, output damage on these guys. So be careful of those. And I'm just going to finish them off. So from here, we can actually go directly to the boss battle if we wanted to. But there's one or two more things I'd like to point out. Um, the first thing we're going to do is actually go and open that shortcut we mentioned earlier on at the um, at the bottom of the map. Um, we're going to come down to this left side path here where it's kind of made of rocks. Instead of down, going down to the stairs to the boss battle, we're actually going to come to this building over here. In this building, if you come sh straight in front of you and um, press X on the wall, there's going to be a hidden door with large titanite shards or whatever in it. Nothing too special for a secret door like this, but it's still worth getting since you're here with fire bombs and large titanite shards. But we're going to come all the way to the top floor after killing this guy. Watch out for this guy here. Come all the way to the top floor and just here is going to be the other side of the gate. So we're going to actually press this lever. Also if you're human form, you can summon the NPC we mentioned here before. But I'm going to show you that anyway, so so don't worry about that. Um, before going to the boss battle on this same um, floor, we're going to come to this door all the way over to the left here. 
or right, depends how you look at it, I guess. Um, kill these two guys. Watch out for these um, pots there. Just like you see, that guy just got poison. I'm just gonna let him die to his, die to his death. Die to his death. Can I say that? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, in, in here is gonna be an Esther's flash shot, and yeah, that that wall does look awfully dodgy to the left. And this one's not gonna be an A wall. This is actually gonna be a smash it in wall. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a Titanite Lizard thing, Crystal Lizard, whatever. <laughs> and the Royal Soldiers Ring, that's quite a good ring you can get there. These pots, I recommend breaking them afar because they're going to poison you if not. And it's going to be throwing a nice and flame butterfly here. So that's pretty much all there is um, before the boss battle. There's going to be a human effigy down here, a bit further down. And, oh yeah, sorry, there's one, one more NPC I'd like to talk about before going to the boss battle. So what, once you kill them, there's nothing in this little building over here opposite those guys. Down here in the water on this like um, tipped over boat, whatever it is, there's going to be a human effigy and a life gem, or three life gems I think it is. But before fighting the boss, we well the boss battle is straight ahead basically, the, where the boat is. But we're going to come over here to the right, talk to this guy. If you've got enough intelligence, they will talk to you and reinforce your pyromancer flame and teach you a few spells. And I think he goes back to the, to Medulla if you... Um, talk to him enough, but anyway, we're gonna go to the boat where the boss battle is. Like I said before, I will go back and summon Lu Lucatil to help with the boss battle just to do her quest, even if something quite well, I wouldn't call it funny because she just basically doesn't turn up to the boss battle. But you see, in a minute, I have to do the boss battle on my own anyway, even though I do summon her. But it's gonna be a huge ambush here on the boat, don't worry about items, there ain't nothing on the top floor. But anyway, I came back here to the shortcut to summon Lucatil. And basically, she just doesn't bother turning up. Like, I literally come back to the boat. I actually wait before this as well. Well, I just cut it by. I was actually waiting for her where I um, summoned her. See if she. Well, she appeared, obviously, but she just didn't want to come with me. Um, I wait here also. As you can see, I'm just messing around here until she, until she shows up. But she just basically doesn't show up. But anyway, I just decided to go to the boss before. If you watch my Shaded Woods video, you actually see that it's something really similar to this guy. This guy obviously gets a bit more health, but it's basically got the same attack pattern and all that. And this shouldn't be really too hard, especially if you've got ranged. And even if you've got um, melee, it definitely ain't going to be much harder. So anyway, once we've killed him, Luke will obviously go back home. You know, shouldn't really show up, get the demon soul, and proceed through the level. So there's one more item, like I said. You're probably all wondering where's the Pyromancer Flame. Well, here it is. Really easy to miss as well. But you can actually come back and get it if you do miss it. So don't press the compass kind of thing what makes the boat go. I'll come behind the stairs just here and you're going to get Fireball and our Pyromancer Flame. But anyway, that's all for this episode. We're going to go to the Lost Bastille next. Um, we're going to go from both directions. There's going to be one that will meet up with the Pursuer direction as well. We're going to do both. And we'll see you next time.